This is the first ever Paddleball Hall of Fame Gala. This gala celebrates past and present paddleball players. Let's go inside and meet some of the honorable guests. We're here today more important than Anthony or Randy Krosnick. We're here today to show people what paddleball is all about. Yes, it's an inner city game, but it's more than that. It's a family, no different than football, no different than baseball. People are attracted to a handball paddleball game. It's exciting. I used to perform for the Police Athletic League, and my motto was keep kids on the courts so we don't have them in the courts. Anthony Farino is the man with the plan. As he mentioned, keeping our children on the courts and not in the courts is a reasonable cause. Since the uprising of gang violence, electronics, and video games, a percentage of young people have lost interest in sports. Naturally, you understand what's going on in the city right now. It's mayhem. The young kids, they're losing the idea of playing ball. Anthony has chosen some players to honor tonight, and they shared who they are and what made them deserve this award. Recently, we organized uh, an organization called Paddleball United Council to bring together uh, brainstorming minds to help grow the sport and to bring uh, the younger generation into the sport. I'm one of the players that started playing in the 1970s and I, um, I retired at, at the end of the 1970s. So throughout the 1970s, my partner and I were a force in paddleball. Jewel Santiago is a major sponsor from State Farm Insurance, who happens to be a paddleball player herself. She gives us insight into her career path with State Farm. Actually, insurance was not something I, I saw myself doing. I didn't see myself doing any type of sales. Um, I'm more on the shy side, so selling was definitely not something I saw myself doing. Um, but I needed a job. I was in college. I needed to pay for my books. And I you know, took on a job with State Farm. I've been with them since I was 19. So about 18 years with the company now. Um, so I did the sales role for about 10, 11 years. Then I moved up to corporate and um, I've been um, running my own agency, actually two now, for seven years. For the first gala, this was a huge success, and I'm sure this will not be the last celebration for these athletes. For BronxNet, this is Kyrie Moody.